So, Gina, you really believe you can I, do better? I know that I can do easier, better. Easier. easier, better, and I want people to have fun. That is the reason why I want to do a pizza. Lot to do. Okay, lot to do. What we got? Double zero flour um, made for pizza pasta. Then we got the uh, dry yeast, mm -hmm. warm water. So then we're going to do the first thing. We're going to get the dry yeast goes into the water. Okay, with salt because do you it's very use fresh yeast. You can use the fresh yeast if you can find it. That's the problem. You have to go to your local Just baker. Local baker, yes. See, uh, ask him. The problem with yeast, the fresh one, that it goes off quite quickly. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. Then we get the flour into a large bowl. Okay. Okay. Then we get the yeast with the water. Everything goes in. It's very important. Don't put all the water because different flour they will react differently on the absorbing the water. Okay. With the back of the wooden spoon. So you use okay. a special double O flour, don't you? Special double O flour is fantastic. Maybe a little bit more water. And it's just a good this. bread flour, yeah? That's a good bread flour. You can make pasta, you can make all sorts of things. Now, I'm using the back of the spoon because when everything yeah. starts to come off from the bowl, okay, yeah. then it means that it's ready. Now, in the meantime, I can give you a couple of things to do. We got some mozzarella. Make sure it's not buffalo mozzarella, otherwise too much water. You want cow mozzarella. Yeah, cow mozzarella. Just rip everything off for me. Yeah, in a nice. Uh... I... <laughs> I do after you, dear, ripping everyone off. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> Look at that. Flour on the surface. Then we put the dough on the surface like this. Yeah. Okay. Very simple. We have to knead like the bread. Knead everything together. You want to do this one for about 10 minutes. Okay. We need to make sure that all the yeast, the flour, everything gets together. Once we're done, we roll into a bowl very quickly. Put it back into the same bowl that you mix it. Clean film and a cloth. Warm place? Warm place, room temperature. And let me show you. Ah, mama. Look at that. It doesn't actually double in size. It probably does about three quarters. OK. OK? So Looks very more good. More flour. Now, you can imagine. Look at that. The smell. All the kids is going to be around the table. Look tables. at that smell. Eh? Mm, you Fantastico. Yeah? Mm. Then you pick it up, put it on a, on a, on a well flour surface. And now is the time to have fun, because what you want to do? More flour goes on top with your uh, fingertips. Just put it down, push it down like this. Remember, there is a lot of slapping around. Okay, this is where you need to get your uh, yeah. your lazy husband to give you a hand. That's it. Stay with me, Anthony. I think I've got a lazy husband. I've got a wife. No, I mean, no, not you. I mean, the, the, the people at home, the women at home. Okay, so one is slapping, make it nice and round. Okay, at this stage you pick it up. And a bit of oil on there. Straight. It's okay, it's okay. It doesn't sure? because this one is a non-sticky one. Ah, okay, non-sticky. Okay. We so like put that. it put it on a surface like that. Now let me show you what you can put on top. This is the best part. Number one, onion, peppers, fry them a little bit in olive oil and cool them down. Then we got chopped tomatoes, which chopped tomatoes. Then we go straight in. Just tin okay. tomatoes. You don't tin use passata or puree or I think that the chop they're gonna give you a nice, Not beautiful, too wet. rustic. And because it's going to cook in the oven for about 15 minutes, even if it's a little bit too wet, mm. it's going to be fantastic. So put it there. Mm -hmm. Then if you can sprinkle some of the onion there and the peppers. And the beauty is that you can really put whatever you want to do on top. Absolutely. If you're a vegetarian, of course, stay away from the salami. You can put goat cheese. You can put crochet. What about pudding? Pudding? If you want to do a pudding a with a sweet pizza. One, a oh, sweet one. I'll go one. Do like this, yes. and then put some mozzarella. Do like this, and then put some chocolate spread on top. Chocolate and spread in the oven. And bananas. I tell you, chocolate spread and banana. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, Fantastic. we'll get that on the show. Now what we do? We put all this on together. Yes. At the end, we want to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Just salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay. Put some salt. Goes in the oven. How long? 220 degrees, about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, hey. you need to see how strong is your oven. And what do we got? Look at that. Oof. Fantastico. How can you have a pizza takeaway? This is amazing. Once we've done that, we're just going to put a few basil. basil leaves on top. This is the mistake that many people do. They put the basil before and then it dries. Mm. The basil is a beautiful herb that should be eaten fresh. Gorgeous. Look, Look at, at that. that. Pizza campana wow. for everybody tonight. Magnifique. Oh, that's French, isn't it? Fantastico.